Oh Godfrey, that is absolutely spiffing. Well done. Hi guys, it's me Anne and welcome to this week's video. So this week I thought I'd talk about Britishness, which is a bit unusual, but I've been watching lots of video like ev videos like Evan Edding Evinger and things like that. If you don't know, he's an American that lives in London and developed a British way of life, so to speak. So I thought I'd talk about that and some things that are stereotypical. So as you may know, my name is Jan. And that's not actually an English name, if you haven't guessed. Because normally in English you don't pronounce a J as a Y. But in fact, it is from this country here. But living in Britain is not quite how people seem to think it is. And from the start you can tell that actually it's nothing like that. Although it's green, it always seems to rain, which is not always a good thing. Been out today, it's been a really sunny day. It was cold, like summer, but it was cold and then it chucked it down. It's normal British weather. Then it always gets nice in the evening and I can never understand why. Most towns as well seem to look like concrete jungles. Birmingham's one of them and it's not all country houses, nice towns, no. It's not nice at all. And in most towns you get to the thing that I seem to be dreading the chav. Alright geezer, because I'm not messing with your brav. But, instead of talking about Britain, I thought I'd talk about some stereotypical British things that people seem to have the idea that we say, and actually people don't. One of them, which I've never actually heard anyone say, I've heard it on TV, is I'll give you a bunch of fives. Yep, yeah, okay, that's violent means I'll punch you but so it's a bit unusual and unless you watch weird things like me you probably don't know what it means or didn't know what it means until I explained that it means to punch someone another one I definitely don't say because I generally don't exercise well I do but mm. I don't play sport as much and one I definitely don't say is going to play footy I don't really hear people say footy, although in this country I've never heard soccer, and can I just explain? Football is football, it's not soccer. How many times have you heard the word spiffing? Everyone seems to do it on mm, shows and that. I have never heard a British person say spiffing. Maybe that's because I'm just a bit weird, but I've never heard that. Probably best that we leave all the innuendos out, because there's too many. Apparently, blighty and chav seem to be popular words. I've never actually heard anyone call this country blighty. But actually, I've heard chav used a lot. Hmm, wonder why. See what a blessed man. Eh? And one Welsh thing that seems to be the big thing now is the word lush. Yeah, I seem to use that actually. That seems to be a stereotypical thing that people say, but I think that's because of a programme called Gavin and Stacey. Oh, pardon me. I must sound as if I'm absolutely sloshed. Never mind. Time for some good old rumpy pumped PH. Ha ha. I'm only joking. Ah, I think you have the hunt with me now, don't you? Jolly good. Time you go after the carsey. Cheerio. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, uh, please leave me a like if you have, comment down below as well, if you've liked this video you might like my other videos and to do that you might want to subscribe to my channel and there's a subscription button just there so you can click and watch all my other videos and it really helps with the support, my twitter is above if you want to follow me on twitter and I, don't, I haven't really posted on there this week but I tend to post on there like I do on my Snapchat and you get to see what I'm getting up to. I'll see you in next week's video because I've got a lot to talk about and that's about what I've done this week. And I'll uh, see you then guys. Bye.
You with me? Blinging.